I'm going to experiment with a type of fire called a Swedish torch. Um, I'm doing my best with this thing. You can see this thing is like all broke up from some of the hot fires I had. Technically what you do is you take, you really take like a log and split it into four to six pieces. And you start a fire on top and the fire slowly travels down inside. If you got a little kindling down inside, probably work better. What I did is I cheated. I used uh, some of the, like the fire started logs. I cut a couple pieces, put it up on top. But that'll work, I think. If it doesn't, then I'll have to throw some more sticks in there or something, but I think this will work. I just started it up about 5-10 minutes ago, and uh, these kind of, they go for a long time, and the cool thing about them is if you're using the log, you can put a pot on top, and you can actually cook on it, so that's kind of cool. I'll give you a little bit more video in a few minutes, so you okay, can see how much it's burning. Uh, what happened was little pieces of that fire starter log dropped down inside started down there which is exactly what would happen if I had used just like little sticks and tinder that would all fell down in there it this part will probably burn a little bit faster uh, once the big log gets going I think it'll be good but it's it's slow you know it's not like a real fast it's similar to an upside down fire in a way but like I said if you have this done properly up on top it's rather flat you can put a pot up there, boil water, cook food, and it supplies you with warmth. I kind of like this. You can see uh, oh, in uh, Home Depot and a couple other stores I've seen, they have these, uh, they look like birch logs, maybe 10 to 14 inches in diameter and probably about like 10 or 12 inches high, and they somebody's taken a chainsaw and cut an X in a grooves and that, that's kind of cool because what you can do you can take that you can put it in the fireplace you can put it in the fire pit put it wherever and you just start a little fire on top of it and it'll do the same thing as that right there pretty cool that's the Swedish torch and I rather like it oh yeah that's going good Normally what you do with a Swedish torch is you um, you cut the log into four to six pieces and then down on the bottom you put a chain or something that holds it together. That or you can actually take uh, the back end of an axe and drive the pieces down into the ground a little bit or put a mound of dirt around the bottom to hold the bottom together so it doesn't fall apart. Uh, the way this is working for me is this Chimea whatever you want to call it, I don't know what they call them, but that metal ring is serving as the thing that holds it together rather than putting something down on the bottom. But this this works, this works. And uh, you could use this in a survival situation, use it in your backyard. Okay, this is like about a oh, half hour later. And you can see how some of those pieces just broke off and fell down. That, that's because they were like really small. I was just trying to make my uh, Swedish torch here. There's one piece on top, you can see it. The one in the foreground, That's that was the biggest one. The other one back there was small and the other ones were like really small because I had some constraints as far as what I could fit in the top of this. But under normal circumstances you would have a pretty big log and you would have it split down four ways and you would have it tied up on the bottom with a chain or like I said driven into the ground a little bit and separated just a little bit but this actually does put out some heat obviously but uh, my cooking I would have had to done that pretty quick because as you can see there's not much of a cook space on top anymore but it was an experiment it seems to work it's kind of chilly here in Florida today tomorrow's only going to be 59 Tonight's going to be down in the 40s, so I'll probably have a fire going so I can sit out here, have a cup of coffee, have a smoke, and sit and watch the fire and stay warm. Well, that's it for now.